Worcester Walmart reopened today after dozens of employees tested positive for coronavirus. The Walmart in Quincy, where there is also a cluster of cases, though, is still closed. WBZ's Bill Shields has that story. This Quincy Walmart employs 200 people. When it was discovered that 11 employees had the virus and one died, the city stepped in. Walmart was a little slow to move on this uh, initially, and uh, that was a little disappointing, but I think once it got to the corporate level, they finally did the right thing. Quincy's health commissioner wasted no time in shutting down the Walmart. Contacts to cases and saying that they went into Walmart and, and then were not feeling well um, shortly after that. And this Walmart in Worcester reopened just today after being shut down with 81 employees testing positive for COVID-19. And today in Quincy, customers were showing up at the Walmart only to discover it was locked up. We had to have an invisible enemy. That's very sad, you know, because uh, there's a lot of contaminations. So we better, you know, be very careful. This store will now be deep cleaned. All the employees will be tested. If any more found, they'll obviously be self-quarantined. And then they'll be monitored going forward. The outbreak at the Quincy Walmart was discovered through contact tracing, which is proving to be a valuable tool in the fight against the virus. As for the Walmart itself, they'll likely reopen on Friday. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.